Hello, this is Dr. Nicholas Martinez. Uh, today I'd like to demonstrate the exacerbation of EAE, an autoimmune model for multiple sclerosis, in Th17 biased raw gamma T transgenic mice, but not in Th1 biased Tbet transgenic mice. To investigate the role of Th17 cells in multiple sclerosis, or MS, we used raw gamma T transgenic mice, which have increased Th17 immune responses. This gain-of-function approach is unique since the role of Th17 cells has been examined mainly by loss-of-function approaches, where IL-17 molecules have been decreased using blocking antibodies or knockout mice. Here, we asked a question whether increased Th17 responses can exacerbate an autoimmune model for MS, experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, or EAE, using raw gamma T transgenic mice. Previously, we have demonstrated that raw gamma T transgenic mice become susceptible to a demyelinating disease induced with Tyler's virus, a viral model for it, MS. This is clinically relevant since gain-of-function mutations have been associated with human diseases recently. We sensitized raw gamma T transgenic mice, or wild-type C57 black 6 littermate mice, with MOLG 3555 peptide in complete Freud's adjuvant. We test the hypothesis that the transgenic mice, shown in the green dotted line, would develop more severe EAE than the wild type mice, shown in the black line. We found that the transgenic mice developed more severe EAE both clinically and histologically. The left panel shows that the transgenic mice developed more severe clinical signs than the wild type mice. The top right panel shows that the wild type mice had demyelination only in the dorsal funiculus while the bottom right panel shows that the transgenic mice had more severe inflammatory demyelination, not only in the dorsal funiculus, but also in the lateral funiculi. Immunologically, lymphoproliferative assays show that the transgenic mice had higher CD4 T-cell-mediated MOLG-specific responses than the wild-type mice, while responses to PPD, a component of the complete Freud's adjuvant, were comparable between the two groups. The cytokine analyzes, shown in the panels on your right, show that the transgenic mice produced higher IL-17 and interferon gamma compared with the wild-type mice. Next, we sensitized wild-type mice and raw gamma T transgenic mice, as well as Th1-biased Tbet transgenic mice with MOLG, and compared Th1 and Th17 cell infiltration in the central nervous system using intracellular cytokine staining and flow cytometry. As we expected, the raw gamma T transgenic mice had higher Th17 cell infiltration, while the Tbet transgenic mice had higher Th1 cell infiltration. Interestingly, following MOLG sensitization, the Tbet transgenic mice did not develop EAE, either clinically or histologically. Thank you for listening to my presentation today. Uh, here is a picture of our research team at Louisiana State University Health Science Center in Shreveport and Scuba University in Japan. If you're interested in learning more about our research or how to contact us, there's a website at the bottom of the slide, and that would be the best way to uh, learn more about us. Uh, thank you again, and have a good day.